Dr. Ian Ralby is a maritime security analyst with IR Concilium. Dr. Ralby is joining us live from Baltimore, Maryland. Doctor, thank you very much for making us time or for making time for us and welcome to We on Wild as One. Thank you. I wish the circumstances were different. <laughs> Talk to us about uh, India's mission to enhance surveillance in the Red Sea. Are there any risks involved with that mission? They say the aim is to protect the exclusive economic zone. Will India manage? I think India has an incredibly competent Navy, and I think it will do a tremendous job in helping protect global maritime commerce as well as the commerce destined for India. Uh, but there are risks. This is obviously a, an evolving situation with new uh, emerging types of threats uh, coming out of not only the Houthis, but as you said, Somali piracy, as well as uh, the uh, Iranian question regarding uh, the, the recent attack on the Kem Pluto, which was uh, just on the outer edge of India's exclusive economic zone. Mm -hmm. um, what we saw overnight was that uh, the, the attack uh, by the Houthis against the, the Maersk ship that you were just talking about uh, involved not only firing at the ship, but ultimately firing at the aircraft that were trying to defend it, uh, leading to what has been, I believe, the first confirmed kill of, of any of the, uh, the combatants involved. So uh, we are seeing an escalation both in terms of the hostility and the lethality of these attacks, uh, and India is joining the fray at a, a very difficult time. Mm -hmm. Doctor, let's talk about the Red Sea Force and the whole new war at sea. Do you think the new frontier poses a new challenge for the U.S.? It, it does. Um, it poses a new challenge for all of us. And one of the difficulties is that, uh, as we said, this, this is an adaptive threat. We are seeing an escalation almost daily. Uh, as the Houthis uh, have tasted global relevance, they're going to keep fighting for it. And so if the U.S. is able to, uh, along with its partners, shoot down all the missiles and, and uh, drones and other aircraft, uh, inbound for commercial shipping, the Houthis will find new ways to attack vessels. And they have many different weapons in their arsenal, uh, both uh, literally and metaphorically. They can find new ways of attacking shipping and continue to wreak havoc on global maritime commerce. They are going to continue to find ways uh, to be relevant. And that is really what their focus is at this point. Unfortunately, this started as a protest uh, regarding the Gaza-Israel situation, but it has evolved into something that is totally distinct at this point. And so we have to treat it as a, 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 an inherent threat in and of itself. Doctor, finally, how easy or difficult is it for the U.S. to crush Houthi control over the Red Sea? Well, unfortunately, the maritime space is large uh, and it involves lots of different moving parts. And so the uh, extent to which chaos can be wrought on the, uh, the maritime domain is, is pretty simple. Uh, Somali pirates with low technology did it for years. Uh, it took a major effort in terms of coordination between shipping and navies uh, in order to be able to abate that threat. And while that was abated for a number of years, it is resurging now. And we are also seeing this much more sophisticated, armed, state-backed uh, effort to uh, really attack shipping, not just uh, go after financial gain through holding ships and, and individuals for ransom. Uh, and so the, the extent to which continued attacks and continued threats to global maritime commerce could be brought by not only the Houthis, but the Somalis, uh, the uh, Iranians and others um, is, is extreme. And so that's something for which every Navy on Earth needs to be vigilant. Uh, but at the moment, it is clear that there is a desire to maintain this pace and escalate it uh, as we go into the new year. And I think we're going to have a very difficult start to that year uh, with regard to trying to protect our, our global economy. All right, I've been talking to Dr. Ian Ralby, who is a maritime security analyst with IR Concilium. Doctor, thank you very much for talking to us and Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.